Hey gaming bees, it's Brona aka Honey Bree, and welcome back to the season 3 of, or just welcome to, to season 3 of 100 Baby Challenge. So, Fabiola won by a landslide, you guys, you guys really loved her, because she, um, Faye didn't even get one vote, so, yeah, she's the one I will be continuing this challenge, um, you could say. So, I have everybody here, they're already moved out, except for Wendy, she stays. We're probably gonna make her a young, not young adult, an adult with the genie today, because I had, like, their ages freeze, so that way nobody aged up while I was trying to get everything ready. So, yeah, so our girl over here is a married fly. She gets her, you can see her little baby bump. Um, she's also pregnant, so she's pregnant before Babiola, but you know, whatever. So, there you go, you can see the little bump. And this is the baby daddy that she is married to. He was already married when um, we moved. I moved without him because I didn't even notice that that there was a relationship so I just moved everybody here and then when she got the notification to uh, she wanted to get married I went to look in her friendship thing and noticed that he was there and I totally forgot like when she went to prom she had like this date or this dude confessed to her or she confessed to her crush or something like some one of those scenarios and uh I had to invite him from long distance and uh he came the next morning and then I started making flirt and all that and then uh, when I was trying to see if, um, if um, we could, like, go study and then, like, propose, it was all like, oh, ask to break up with Maurice. And I was like, okay, what? Who is Maurice? So, and it wouldn't even let me, like, try for baby or anything like that. So, I had to add him to her household. And then I saw that he was married to this Maurice chick. And I was like, okay. So, it was an option to send a breakup text, like, yeah, you break up with your wife over a text. So I sent that and it showed that it was ex-wife, but it still wasn't working. So I had then had to have a, um, make him break up with her. And then finally it worked. And then, so then I had him go steady and he proposed. I'll probably show the pictures, the screenshots, two screenshots, two screenshots I took. And they also had a private wedding just so they can get married and I can kick them out already. <laughs> So, yeah, and I made sure she was pregnant before she left. Um, boys are living together. Fabienne and Fabrizio are living together in a high rise. Oh, I totally forgot to um, tell you guys, we are in Bridgeport for this season. Um, let's go into full. We're over here where all the houses are. Um, this was the only lot I could find. I was like, oh my gosh, I was trying to add a lot to put the house down but there were none but i did find one that was equal the same size i just got rid of the i bulldozed the house and moved out whatever was in it um and that is that house that i just plopped down here it's kind of weird because it's on a hill so it's kind of yeah i try to soften it but it doesn't look that great but anyways we go into here into the city and this is where our brothers live right here in this high rise and then faye lives here with her husband in this one so yeah that is them now i'm gonna basically cut out because i want to reset everything so that way i know everything is gonna run smoothly so i will be right back alrighty guys so i expected them to disappear when i reset everything that's why i did after the intro always smart to do that um so she is i'm trying to get her garden up because we want the garden to be a legacy okay we want this to continue on after wendy leaves and um after um our girl is gone too so we make sure we try to keep it up and make sure none of them die or if they die we can just replant like a better quality so it's fine um yeah um what do you want to do why are you phrasing maybe they're using this recording software with Sims is not a great idea. So, she needs to use the bathroom. Let's have her do that. Use the bathroom. And I'm having one Dean cook up something. I'm trying because, you know, she wants to master three skills. Cooking is like the only skill left, I think. She's a master of painting and gardening, so I need her to master the cooking. Um, let's see what it says in the skill journal. Alright, skill journal recipes prepared 33, and I wish you only know 39%. We probably need to go to the bookstore and study some stuff. 
Um, yeah, she's prepared hot and salad the most, highest quality with grilled salmon. All right. All right, guys, I'm just going to fast, I'm just going to cook and I'm going to put it away. So I'm going to fast forward to the next day where we're going to go baby daddy hunting for the first time in season three. So I will be right back. <laughs> All right, gaming bees, we are back. So we're going to be heading to the fall festival because that's where she wants to go. It's spooky day. So let's go. She's gussing up before she's going. Of course, she want to make sure she's looking on point to attract those future baby daddies and we're gonna be throwing a feast party which we're gonna be inviting random people which will be mostly guys and of course we're gonna invite our brothers and sisters and i think we know um our sister's husband so we can invite her too so if she can hurry up with this gussing <laughs> um we can leave and we'll eat at the um festival so on our way we go all right, now we know that the um, station way is near Public School 27th Station. So we are here at the um, festival. The <laughs> thing is, um, what does this say? The thing is, she hates the outdoors. So she has, uh, oh, it went away because she was on a train, but it will be back. Um, okay, let's see, what she want to do? She wants to carve a pumpkin. Um, buy food from a concession stand, which we will do. Um, I would like to just do the pie thing, but we'll buy food. So where are the concession stands? Okay, they're over here. Let's see what they have. Um, are you just food? Buy food? Where are you? Are you items? This one has a pie on it. I want pie. I want pumpkin pie. I love pie pumpkin pie, especially with some like vanilla ice cream on the side. Oh my gosh. I mean, Halloween is soon, Thanksgiving is soon, so that pumpkin pie is going to be in my belly soon, okay? <laughs> so excited. I can't wait for that pumpkin pie. It's just so good, so good. Oh my gosh. I need to like teach myself how to make pumpkin pie myself so I don't have to keep buying it from Publix. That would be like the best thing to do because I bake and I like to bake. So I could probably teach myself how to make a pumpkin pie and I'll make it myself. Um, I'm not a pecan pie person. Like I hate pecans. I hate any type of nuts in food. Like I'll eat peanuts by themselves, but like any type of nuts and cookies, bake, baking, I don't like that. I don't. I don't like it. I hate it. Um, and the funny thing is I'll eat honey bunches of oats. And if you guys know, it has like almonds in it and oats. <laughs> Um, so let's see what we can get. We can cinnamon donut, french fries. What's that pie dough? I want some pie. Oh, nachos. I love nachos. This is just a pie. It doesn't say pumpkin pie. You're ripping me off here. So we're just going to get nachos. I love nachos too. And I love hot wings. I love anything spicy. So let's, let's get the nachos. Alright, so that's done. We're going to take a greeting card photo. Just her by herself. <laughs> Or whoever that man that we're going to find, if that's going to be our baby daddy number one. Let's see, do we see anybody here? Why do you guys look like you're from the future? From, okay, from afar, that's kind of what it looks like. You guys have the same hair. Oh my gosh. This one is probably, are you guys twins or something? Let's check. Um, they're wearing the same thing though. They have to be twins. Um, yeah, they are t twins. And her name is Violet, which makes sense. I don't know how to pronounce her name. They're totally twins tied in front of her. Um, <laughs> oh, that's their son. Really? Is that the only person here? Like, am I really gonna have to throw this party for me to get anywhere? Oh, look who's throwing a costume party. Rude. I was gonna throw a face party. <sighs> Should I throw this? I mean, they're, they're throwing something. They better be there. Sometimes the game glitches out, or, or it feels like it does that all the time. And when you get there, there's nobody's home, nobody's home, so we're probably really not going on. Um, art. Let's see here. Yeah, like nobody's here. It's the festival. Is it because it's too early? Should have come at like 12 o'clock or something. <laughs> Please tell me you're coming in here. No. 
you're going across the way. You need people here. It's completely boring. Um, I might go for this dude a little bit. I think we can get go for these people, so let's go and introduce ourselves. I'm just hoping that more people come. It is not just two old farts here and their kid. Alright. Alright, let's see. Alright. Introduce yourself. Come on. Alright, so introduced. Alright, yeah, our party was at one o'clock. Um we're late, <laughs> but we'll get there at some point. So let's go to this chai thing. How do you like my costume? I should have it for about five more hours. Tee hee. Why is it five more hours? No idea. Alright. Alright, you know what? It's fine. We're gonna go to that party now. Um, there is a chick here who's a paparazzi, but she's just out here chilling. Let's take that greeting card photo before we leave, though. Um, should we take it with that dude? We don't really know him that well, so we're just going to take it for ourselves. Alrighty, guys, so this is the picture that she took, and this is what she looks like. I mean, this is her, you know, her environment. It is freaking orange. Okay, this is her favorite season, time of the year. Because it's just orange everywhere. So, uh, she's, a, she's in labor. <laughs> she threw a party, but she's in labor. And she's just standing out here, not running to her hospital or anything. But since she's not doing anything, we'll just stand here. Um, and our boy, uh, Fabricio, I'm pretty sure that is, is now going out with this chick named Lily Bow Chic. <laughs> okay. Extra. Um, and that is their notification brothers still doesn't have a little girl yet and they have a little puppy named lady so yeah she's having her baby i don't know if i'm the one that's gonna have to take her or what what's going on here change into costume okay where is she at okay i think she's in yeah here she is where is she going to the party out here all right she's changing I'm gonna have to take my own sister to her freaking hospital, to that hospital. Like, what is the sorcery? She's just chilling out here. Um, yeah. Like, I might have to take her. I hear the puppy that they have. Um, she's still changing into her costume, taking forever. Let's see here. If I press down. Oh, there it is. Is that their place right there? Um, thanks for coming to my party. You have nobody here. You don't have a crib up here. It's kind of sad. Um, yeah, she said thanks for coming. So, you know what? We're gonna take her to the hospital. Because even the baby daddy's not even here to take her. Um, we need to pee though. It should take them like three years to change into her costume. Um, she's gonna end up peeing on herself because we need to take her as a to the hospital. So, let's take her. What costume is she even wearing? Is that a police officer's um, outfit? Um, it is, but she's wearing. She's still wearing her orange shoes. She's like, I have to have some orange. I cannot live without my orange. So we're gonna skip until after this. We take this pregnant lady, our pregnant sister, or our sister that's in labor, to the hospital. Um, oh, Ethan Bunch has passed away. Alright, nobody cares. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. What does this say? Yeah, I know baby is coming and I know you're about to pee yourself. Did she just leave? Did she just leave? Or are we taking her? Because we. She took her own car and we're still here and she's gone. Oh no, there she is. That was weird. Alright. She wants to stay up past bedtime. And she's gone again. What is going on? Maybe it's automatically taking her 
to the hospital? Not even sure. Let's just cancel that out. I don't know what happened there. Let's see. Can we still go in her house and pee? Because I don't think anybody's home, actually. Yeah, see, it happened again. Um, only because she went into labor. So we're going to go home. Or can we go to our brother's house? See, the party is already over. But I say she... Oh. Okay. <laughs> it says she's home with her baby. Okay, let's try that. That's why she disappeared. She had a baby boy. Let's see what she named him. Alrighty guys, so she named her son Teddy and he's a neurotic and adventurous. Okay, why would you call him Teddy? No freaking idea. Alright, I don't know where she's going. I say visit them so she can use the bathroom. Oh, there she is. She literally had her baby outside. She literally had her baby outside. Um, Niklaus is now the father of a new baby boy. Um, baby boy named Teddy. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, oh, look at them. Um, can I see what whose color eyes you have? Let's see. Are those purple? Do you have Wendy's eye color? Wait, it goes with that because they both have green eyes. So what do you make? Yeah. I think you have Wendy's. I will check up on you later on um, to see what's going on there. Okay, I came to visit you, so how do I get into your freaking house, bruh? Maybe I have to go in here? That's kind of annoying. She might pee on herself until she freaking gets in here. Uh, you know what? I might have to just go to... Let's see. Can you get in here? Girl, get in your house. Why are you outside with your baby? I think I might have to edit her house to give her a um a crib. That baby needs a crib. Alright, so we're gonna buy our sister some kid stuff. Um, because with a good sister like that. Um, hopefully this crib works. It'd be better if it did. Because it doesn't take much room. And it's a boy. So let's actually get rid of that. Actually, we can give her. No, we can't. <laughs> I was gonna say we can give her one of ours. The, the extra ones we have. Um, but we can't. Alright. And they're gonna need, I guess, a crib. As long as the baby has somewhere to sleep, we'll be fine. Um, can this fit in here? Yes, it can. Um, and that should be fine. Can we put a rocking chair for her? No, there's like barely in a room in this place, and they're probably not even gonna be able to fit if I put that chair down. So it just should be fine. That's good enough. They have the basics. Um, so baby should be fine. I mean, I need, oh, I didn't put any toys down. Uh, okay. Um, um, buy on this lot. At least give him a teddy bear to play with, which I, I don't know if they automatically get that weird thing. Um, as a thingy. You know what I mean? The, 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 the imaginary friend stuff animal. I don't know if they automatically get that or not. So let's see. Should we give him a little toy box? Just put it right here. There we go. At least they have a bunch of toys, you know, and not stuck with just one stuffed animal. I mean, his name is Teddy. I should have probably just got him a Teddy. <laughs> Alright, um, we're gonna go home now. Her sister's still downstairs doing what? But the baby, no idea. Do I have to help you out? Do I have to come down there? You know what? No. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. You figure out your life with your kid. <laughs> Alright guys, um, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Nothing much really happened. We still didn't get that baby daddy. And it's too late to throw a party anyways. So what we're going to do is not part throw a party. Or actually, let's get home and um, I'll just do it off camera. I'll sign her up for the online dating site. That's always the easiest thing to do. I don't know why I didn't remember that and I didn't automatically do it. Who's calling now? Who is calling now? Is there a brother again? Is a phone. It's one of them. I guess he's, he's calling to talk about his girlfriend. But I'm going to end this episode here. Um, 
Comment any suggestions for this season down below and like and subscribe if you already haven't. And it's Honey Bee buzzing out. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Oh.